Hi, Mrs. Ducharme here, and I am talking to you about Citation Maker. This is from the um, Ohio Library System, and I really like this Citation Maker. I know you have lots of other tools like Paper Pile and EasyBib, but this one I want to show you because it, it gives you a little bit more of a picture of what's happening behind the scenes when you're making a citation. So it starts out like this. And the first thing that you do is choose the type of source that you want to cite. When you're working on sources, no matter what tool you use, I highly recommend that you have all your sources available and you make all of your perfect full citations at the same time. All of the tools will make it possible for you to put your citations in uh, and then export all of them into a document. So I'm going to do these one at a time, and the first type of source that I've chosen is this one here, book or encyclopedia. One thing I like about this is they give you some examples to start with, and then you go down and choose the things that apply to your source. So for this particular one, I'm choosing to cite this book right here, and let's pretend that I actually have it in my hand. It's a real print book. Um, but I've also found the page for it here. So here's all the information that I need to cite, and I've already put it in just to save some time. I chose to have one author. Um, I'm doing the whole book. Here's the title of the book. It will italicize it for me, but I need to pay attention to the capitalization. Um, in MLA, I capitalize the most important words. Uh, there aren't any other contributors, there's no version, number, or volume. The publisher is clear here, University, uh, Princeton University Press. Um, I just want to see here, there was an edition, oh yeah, no, it's just one edition basically. And I have the publication uh, year. It was not accessed online. If it were accessed online, then I have some other choices and these are going to give me options for different containers. But for books, the, the title of the book is the container, so we don't need to do any other uh, containers for this. Okay, so that's the first one for a book. The next one I chose, the next template area, was this one here, periodical article. And this will work for a journal, a magazine, or a newspaper. Most of the time, in scholarly papers, you're citing journals. So I'm going to go to this uh, article right here. Uh, sorry, let me just do a quick refresh. Oh, one second. Find it again. It was Russian revol sorry, revolution. revolution. And I chose, let's see, I always choose full text. And I chose in subject this one here, and it was this one that I chose. Now I just opened it like this because I want to show you that the article, it's available in PDF. When I open that, it looks like this here. But sometimes if I'm working just from the PDF, I don't see some of the citation information that I need. So that's why I want to also show you this view, because here I have the name of the um, journal and the issue number and all of that kind of stuff. So in my citation maker, I have one author. I filled that in. I'm citing a journal article. I've got the name of the article and the name of the journal. That's going to be the first container. Okay, so here's the name of the article, and then the name of the journal is here. And then I put in whatever I can find out about the volume or issue number. Sometimes there isn't anything given, so I just leave it blank. I have the publication date. You'll notice that the date is listed as July and August 2017. I'm going to put just July because that's the first month uh, given. They don't have an option to do both at the same time. Um, the location in this case is going to be a page number and it's clearly given here. I can also see that in the PDF down here, 77, page 77. And then for this one, was it accessed online? I'm going to say yes, it was accessed online from a library database. 
And this is where I'm on to my second container, and it is EBSCO History Reference Center. The location I will get from the permalink. So I'm not going to take this link up here. I'm going to choose what is called the permalink and grab it from here. When I do that, the citation maker tells me clearly, do not use the HTTP part, so I'll take that off. Okay, so I've done everything I need to for the periodic periodical. The next type of source I wanted to show you is for a video recording. We use a lot of videos in our research, which is fine. So I have here a, um, a YouTube video from Epic History TV about the um, Russian Revolution. Pause that baby. And I've put in already the information. So I'm going to choose here. It's, it's the whole recording. Okay, if I chose one individual, it would give me the option to highlight, oh, I'm going to talk about the director, or I'm going to talk about the producer, the screenwriter, or maybe the, the actor. Okay, so I'm not going to choose one individual. I'm citing the whole recording. And I'm going to say that it's an episode of a series. Um, it's not the whole series of something. It's not like all of Downton Abbey or something or all of a, one of those PBS specials. It's just one particular episode. And I've got the title of it here and the title of the container. In this case, they say title of book, but it's actually the title of the series, which is Epic History TV. Um, I don't have any other contributors that I can find, no other authors or anything. There's no version or number given. I am going to give credit to Bridgman Images as a publisher because they make a point of saying that Bridgman Images has made this possible. I have a publication day, which is listed down here. This is the date that it's published, and so I'll include that. The location, there's no, I, I'm not going to put in here any particular number because here I have the option to do where it is located uh, on the web. So here, it's on a website and the source is on the author or publisher's own site? No, that's not true. It's this one. Yes, it's on a website, but the source is not on the author's own website. It's on, a, it's on YouTube. So here I can give in container 2 credit to YouTube for hosting this. I don't have any other authors um, or contributors who helped with the uploading. I do know when the video was uploaded, but the date of that is going to be the same as this up here, publication date. So I am not going to repeat it. I have the web address, which is the location, and so I'm done with that. Okay, so we've done three different kinds of citation. I want to show you here how it looks when I've done them all at once. So here I've done my three citations and they show down below. When I finished I chose sort all. So I created my citations one after another and then I chose this sort all. When I did sort all it put them in alphabetical order. Okay, remember that this is the first one that I actually made, the book, but when I do sort all, here it shows alphabetically. Notice here the Russian Revolution comes before Selskine. That's because it goes by R for Russian. Okay, now one thing I really love about this tool is that when I choose to save this as a Google Doc, it will, it will go into my Google it gives me all these different, you know, um, sign in, choose your account, whatever. I do that. I allow it to do its work. And it will give me this, which does not need any formatting help. All I would do is take this out. I would just take this thing right out. Okay. This is, this is perfect. It's reverse indented. There are no empty lines. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm totally, totally done. I would rename it with my own you know, paper, but it's, it's complete. 
So anyway, I'm a huge, huge fan of this tool. Um, the way to find this, uh, just as a friendly reminder from the library website, um, we're on the student badges page, and we're on citation badges, and we're using this one here, Ohio Library Citation Maker. Okay, and you can find it other places too, like the other place you can find it just briefly is here under Citation Help, and I've put it here because I really love it. There's one for MLA and for Science APA. Okay, so highly recommend, and I hope you enjoy that.